we're having a conversation about colorism right now oh, okay. in class. Um, that's where students kind of wanted to focus what we're doing okay. as we move towards the end of the semester and wrap up the class. Um, so we're, we looked first at white. What is white? And why do we not talk about white? Someone walks into a corner store and robs it. They don't say on the news, a white 18-year-old, right? There's just an 18-year-old. But if it's Nick, then it's a 15-year-old Afri African-American male. Um, and why do we use those terms and why not? And how, what does colorism, how does it affect us? They first told me, they came up to me like, take off your backpack. And I was thinking, all right, that's reasonable. People have been stealing from the store before. And I'll just take off my backpack. I'll listen to whatever the authorities got to say so they have no reason to press charges or call the police or do anything that could harm my future. So I take off the backpack and I'm walking to the store, I have my money in my pocket, just looking around, seeing what I want to buy. And they follow me from different aisles. And it's like one aisle be right here and they'll be at the other end. And then I just go in different aisles. I'm, I'm testing them now because I know what they're doing. So I'm just walking in different aisles, see what they're doing. And he keeps appearing up by me. And um, So I buy my drink, put it in my pocket, hurry up and get out. There's a lady that comes up to me, she's like, do you want to buy that drink? And I'm thinking, what do you mean do I want to buy that drink? I've bought it before. She's like, no, it just looks like you're stealing. And I'm like, I'm not stealing. You can ask the girl that's at the counter up in the front. I bought this drink. I don't have the receipt because I usually don't take the receipt, but you could ask the lady up there that um, I bought my drink. So I hurried up and got out the store. Sometimes I'll be at the Dollar Tree. Since I go there a lot, they'll be like, you know, black people, uh, Latino, Latina, like they'll always be getting followed around by one of the like older white women or the white guy that worked, one of the white guys that worked there and they'll be pretending to restock the food but they're not, yeah. they're not moving mm -hmm. anything mm -hmm. and then when the other people pass the corner they go and follow them around that yeah. corner and I, I, I see surprise. it, I see yeah. it, they'll run kind of, like not really but you can yeah. see that they're like gonna accuse them of doing something I don't, that's just not right. I, I hate seeing that. That's right. Like, just cause you have a different skin color doesn't mean you're a criminal. And I was kneeling during the national anthem and some like old couple and they came up to me, they're talking about like, oh, why do you hate America? This and that. And I'm like, listen, I understand being in America is a privilege and I love like the country that I'm in. Um, and I love the people in it. But that doesn't mean I have to stand for like what's happened. That just means that. I don't like what's going on, you know what I mean? It's obvious that the people that are saying that are the ones that are uninformed. Yeah. People are like, educating it's themselves. The kneeling of the national anthem, like during the national anthem, it's not, it's not people aren't opposing America. It's just showing that we aren't going to tolerate everything <coughs> that's happening. And so the people that come at you trying to say, you hate America, like you're shitting on this country, like, like you should be grateful. Blah, blah, blah. It's like you just, you're making yourself look stupid. Mm -hmm. I think that's why people need to like take ethnic studies classes like it should be a required class mm -hmm. so like everybody, everybody can learn and they have the opportunity to learn about the the systematic oppression that's forced upon people especially in america like yeah. and to know what we're going through yeah I know. See through especially yeah. see through other people's eyes